Howdy folks, this is Justro at Matt Calf Mills. I got another planting video for you today. We're gonna be planting some Hickory King corn and some Jimmy Red corn. I'm gonna show you a lot about how my planter works and talk to you a little bit about seed corn. I hope you enjoy it. When I'm shelling seed corn, what I'll do is on each end, I'll come back to where the grains get to where they're uniform. So probably on this one, back to about, probably right in here somewhere, to where you can get the, all the grains are a uniform size, so you can get kind of easy to get an even plan on it. And then down here to the other end, I'll do the same thing. I'll come down to about right there, and I'll shell off these ends. I'll shell all that off. And then all this odd stuff up here on this end so that I get grains that are uniform size. All right, the first thing I do is I look for any bad grains, like on this field corn, I don't spray it or nothing. Sometimes it'll get a little worm damage on the end. So I'll just take and clean all that off. In my scrap bucket here. Just take and clean that off. Just like that. I got a good grain or two there trying to do this one-handed, but I usually just pick out the the worst grains on there and clean them off because you don't want them going in. Look on both ends as well as through the middle for any bad grains. Now, folks, this particular sheller right here has a nubber on here. See that little nubber? And what that does... Like on seed corn especially, you use that nubber and it will clean off any grains on the end right there to get you back to them uniform size grains like I was talking about. And same thing on the other end. You just stick it in that nubber and it just, you can go real slow and you can chew off the, ba the odd shaped grains back to the uniform size to make your seed. Might want to take a little bit more off that one right there. But there you go. Folks, if you don't have a nubber like that one over there, if you don't have a nubber like that on your corn sheller, it ain't no problem. Just clean off your bad grains. If you got a regular sheller, you can still do the same thing as nubbing. You just go slow and just slowly let that cob go down and you can nub off whatever amount of corn that you want to. See there? So it ain't no big deal. There's a few there that don't suit me size wise so i'm gonna clean them off just a little bit see there you can get you can get that thing nubbed on a regular sheller no problem same with this ugly this big end here where the grains are all odd shapes and sizes just feed that thing in slow you can chew it right back there to where you're getting to a good size just go slow just get it back to where they're uniform in size, just like that. So what I do on seed corn, I always shell it by hand. Because sometimes, when you're shelling with a sheller, uh, it will crush the grains. It'll crack them. Some of them will even split in half. So you don't want that happening. So I always shell it by hand to preserve them grains where they're not cracked or damaged. Because if they get cracked, they won't come up and grow. So we always shell our seed corn by hand. With all them uniform size grains. There's a few on there that I don't particularly like the shape of them. Might try to leave them. See right there, them's not shaped like the rest, so I'll put them in my eating corn.
Jimmy Red are going in.
didn't know I had GPS on this rig, did you? Folks, I hope you enjoyed planting corn with me. I'm glad I could share it with you. I planted corn by hand all my life, and I got a planter a few years ago, and I feel like I'm in high cotton ever since. I really look forward to planting time. It just makes it so fun, and it's easy and enjoyable, and you can plant a lot in a short amount of time. And when you get done, you don't feel like you've done nothing, really. So that leaves more for other things. Like this video if you will. Subscribe to my channel. Something flying around there. Cutting in on my video. What do you call that? Photo bomb. That's a video. That Miller flying around. I've done a video bomb on me right there. Did you see that? Anyway, like this video if you liked it. And subscribe to my channel if you ain't already. If you didn't like this video, subscribe anyway. Give me another chance. This is old Justro up here at Metcalf Mills. I look forward to seeing you next time.